Hey everyone, back after a short hiatus here with another video in the video series. Uh, when we left off the last video, I said I was going to talk a little bit about the colors and the ways you could pick uh, the custom colors uh, to match what's in the Power BI desktop or the Power BI service is kind of the main theme. Um, when we released uh, SQL Server Reporting Services 2016, we updated the palettes uh, to make them more in line with the Power BI service, but now that there's been some changes to the color palettes, uh, you may want to go and update your themes as well or use a custom theme. So an interesting thing with this, uh, right now you see that I have the, high, uh, the chart highlighted right now. And by default, it's using the uh, Pacific palette, and I will tell you that I can still remember the email thread around that when we were deciding what to actually name this new palette, and I voted for Philadelphia. And as you can see, I did not win. Uh, so at the time we went with Pacific as the name of the color palette, but you actually have the ability to create a custom palette that you can use. If you look at this drop down, for example, you'll see here that I, there's a number of different items here, and then there is one for custom right now. Obviously that's blank because I haven't defined any of those colors, but if I leave that as specific and I go to custom palette colors, you see that I can go and I can actually start adding a number of colors that I'd like to define my palette with. So I could add, uh, for example, the very first color, I could add green. And then I can add another one and go ahead and add blue and hit OK. And now I've got those colors in my palette. So you can see if I apply uh, custom to my palette, and this is essentially the Seahawks colors. Uh, I'm not a Seahawks fan myself, but again, living here in the Pacific Northwest, I see these colors quite a bit. So that's how you can go and define a custom palette. And again, if I want to change that back, I can go back to uh, Pacific. Uh, interesting thing, I want to call this out here. Uh, the, like I had mentioned in a previous video, can you use uh, SSRS trainings to help you uh, create your pagination reports? You absolutely can. I want to call out uh, this is a woman, Tamara Michelle Clark. One of the things she forgets about SSRS is actually following this exercise. And you can see here, you can go through and specifically go and create a number of these palettes. Uh, and she walks you through exactly how you would go do that, just like I kind of did here on the, uh, on the recording. So again, number of things out there uh, around this, but uh, it's something that people aren't often aware of with uh, paginated reports. So you can absolutely create a custom palette for your charts and other elements on your report and upload that to the service and have it respected. Thanks very much.